Welcome to the Consumer Advocate Show. My name is Michael Satterfield and I'm your local consumer advocate. Today on the Consumer Advocate Financial Network, I'm interviewing Nick Nosman from Iron Mountain Financial. And our subject today is long-term care, a subject that we're all concerned about if you've got parents. Nick, what is the current state of long-term care in America today? There's a growing need for long-term care services in America. We have an average of 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day. That, with the medical advances that we're experiencing, we're living longer. And on top of that, with the Affordable Care Act and the new laws that are coming into play, we're just not sure of what the future holds as far as expenses. The average person that reaches age 65 has a 70% chance of needing long-term care at some time in their future. And the average cost is right now over $68,000 a year here in Colorado. Those costs are expected to rise at about 6% a year for the next five to six years. So what you're looking at is the average retired couple can expect to spend over $200,000 over the course of their retired lives. Why won't uh, Medicare pay for this long-term care? Well, that's a common misconception. Medicare only pays for short-term stays that are medically necessary. Most long-term care claims are for custodial services or non-medical purposes in which Medicare just won't pay for. Well, what factors should I consider when I'm choosing a long-term care policy? There are numerous factors that you need to take into consideration. One is how much risk you want to insure, either the daily or the monthly benefit amounts. Another one is the elimination period. Normally, the average is 90 days in which you're going to be paying out of pocket before any policy starts to pay. Another consideration is how much in maximum benefits do you want, and that's in total years or the total amount available for your long-term care. And another concern is do you want inflation protection? the money that you put into a long-term care policy today will be worth less 10 or 15 years down the road. And finally, a big consideration is, do you want skilled nursing care facility um, benefits or benefits at home? Well, what are the ways to pay uh, for this long-term care? I'm familiar with you know, the policies and what they pay, but uh, you've been talking about a lot of alternatives. There are some alternatives out there. The traditional long-term care policy is still the best bang for the buck for most people. However, not everybody can either qualify or they may not want to tie up their money with a traditional long-term care policy. The two major alternatives are annuities with a long-term care rider um, benefit attached to them in which the income that you receive every month is either doubled or even tripled in some cases, or life insurance policies that have a long-term care rider associated with them. With those, you're actually leveraging your money and gaining access to that death benefit to, pair, to pay for long-term care expenses while you're alive. Well, you've certainly uh, struck a chord with me because my mother is now 84 years old. and. Uh... Boy, I really don't want to put her in a nursing home. I would do anything to just keep her in home health care. Most of the newer policies today have a home health care doubler because the research has shown that people want to stay where they're comfortable, and that's in the home. So a lot of the newer policies today allow for the person receiving care to stay in their home versus going to a facility. So I'm confused. What really is the best way to pay for long-term care? Well, that's the crux of the problem. There is no best way out there. There is no silver bullet to pay for long-term care. Everybody's situation is different. You need to contact a professional that can sit down with you and has access to the various methods to find out what works best in your particular situation. Well, who should conduct this long-term care planning? Everybody needs to conduct planning. If you don't have a formalized plan, you plan on paying out of pocket and that's normally not the best way to do it. 
by talking with a professional, you can put a plan in place to mitigate those expenses that you're going to be paying or potentially paying later in life. All right. Well, Nick, thank you for being on the show today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to contact Nick Nosman at Iron Mountain Financial, you can just call the Consumer Advocate at 719-471-8566, or you can actually email me at consumeradv at comcast.net. You can find us on the web at www.consumeradvocateshow.com where you can watch uh, some of my old shows, listen to some of my old radio shows, or you can uh, look at a variety of financial planners and their videos. And, uh, of course, Nick is on there. So thank you for your time, and give us a call. We're here to help. Thank you.